Hi everybody, this is Jeff from the library, and today we are going to talk about how to create a table, or you might call it a figure. Let's say you have an assignment in which you have to, in your paper, you have to present a table, or as it's called by APA, a figure of data. So that may sound overwhelming and that may sound hard to do. It's actually pretty easy if you use Excel. This is Microsoft Excel I have open here. I have some data typed in here and we're going to create a visual table from this. And I'm only going to cover the basics of this. Someone who's done this a lot, I'm not going to get into the advanced aspects of this. This is for a basic assignment where you just need to create a figure and present it in APA format. So again, just going to cover the basics if you haven't done this before, or you just need a reminder of how to do the basics. If you want to go beyond this and do something more advanced, that's great. But I'm just going to show you the absolute basics. So let's say I wanted to, I manage a library. So let's say I wanted to create a table that showed how many people were using library databases. So I have here, I just put in some data in, in, again, this is Microsoft Excel. And in these columns, here's January, 2020, February, 2020, March, 2020, April, 2020. So I just have all these months going from January to August of 2020. Then over here, I have number of users. And then uh, I just have some made up numbers here. These aren't our actual numbers. Our numbers would be much higher than this, but these are just some numbers I made up to put in here. So this is data that I have. And because this isn't really that nice looking, it's just some numbers and it's kind of a little hard to read to make sense of it. Uh, a lot of times it would be much more effective in a paper or a presentation to make this into some kind of a visual table. So this, it's really easy. Once you have the data in here for what you want to present, that's really the hardest part is coming up what kind with what kind of data you want to present. So once you have that typed in there, I'm just going to highlight all these cells that have data in there. Then I'm going to go up here to insert. And for insert, here are the charts. They call these charts in Excel. And I usually go to recommended charts. You could choose any one of these different styles of charts, but I usually go here, recommended charts, and it's giving me a little, a little preview of the different styles of these charts. This is the one I want to put in. I want to put in a nice bar graph. But there's all these different options of how things could look. And if you want to see all the options, you could go to all charts and look at all the different options they have in there. But I'm just going to show a, a bar graph here. Then I'll click OK. And look at that. It creates this really nice chart, nice and simple. And I might want to uh, give this I'll change this a little bit. I can click there on they have number of users. I might want to say something a little more specific. Like library database users. You can change this to whatever you want. And you can really you can edit this. You can change things. You can you can add chart elements. It just has the basics and you could add a legend. That would be nice. For this one, I don't really need a legend. It's pretty obvious what I'm doing. But you see there, you could add different things that you want. Um, I could go here to, let's see. You can change the style here. You can set up all filters. You can do whatever you want. I'm just going to keep it nice and simple, though. These numbers I would like to change. I'd like to see a comma in there on the numbers. So I'm going to click there. Then I'm going to right click here and format a chart area. And actually that wasn't the right thing. Let me try this again. Let me close that. Here we go. So I clicked on the right clicked and then I want to format the axis. Let's do that again. So I'm going to right click here and let's see. I'm going to right click right on that line. Okay, so that's the key. I click here, right click off of the data. There you go. Right click right on one of those lines there. And this is, you can see, it's a little, can be a little tricky. There we go. Format access. That's what I'm looking for. Now on this access, I want to format the number. So I'm going to click that little drop down by number. I'll change the category to number. And then I definitely want that comma there and I don't want any decimal places. So I'm going to put that 
We'll close that. Now we have those nice commas in there for the numbers. Okay, so now I've got the table ready. I want to copy this and take this to my Word document in my paper. So I'm going to right click on here, copy. Then I'm going to go into my paper here that I'm typing up. And what you want to do first is put in figure one or whatever number this is if you have more than one figure. Figure one, make sure it's double spaced. Now I'm going to type in a title for this. So library database users by month. Okay, and this gets italicized for APA. This you make bold. Now I can just hit control V and I can drop my table in there or my figure. And then at the bottom here, I'm going to add a note. And this is going to add a little more detail. Database users include users of all of the libraries databases regardless of vendor platform or type of database again I'm not putting a lot of work into this I'm just going to try to show you how this works so there you have it figure one that's got to be bold library database users by month make that italicized just copy and paste the the table in there you can make this bigger or smaller if you'd like and then add a note to the bottom to add a little more detail. This is generally what people are looking for, what your instructor will be looking for when you're asked to uh, add a table or a figure to one of your papers. So that's it. It's pretty easy. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.